Hey, hope you all having a great day. My name is Jerry. This is House of Prep. It's good to see you guys today. I wanted to talk about being stressed and as preppers, how do we handle that stress? I'd like to give some tips, maybe some ideas, and feel free to jump in the comments. Maybe you have some tips and ideas as well. Things that you've used, some techniques and maybe some things that, that you've used to help relieve stress, uh, to take away some anxiety. Uh, but let's first, I wanted to talk about uh, Mary. Uh, Miss Mary has said in one of my last videos that she has a surgery coming up actually tomorrow on Wednesday. And she asked us uh, to please pray for her. And I know a lot of you jumped on and said that you would. Uh, so I just want to let you know, Mary, I haven't forgotten you. And I know others haven't as well. Uh, so uh, Mary, good luck on your surgery tomorrow. We are praying for you and, you know, for a quick recovery for you. So stress, and, and that could be stressful. So, you know, that's just an example of surgery and things that we deal with in life. But what can stress do to, to a person? Uh, it can make you depressed. It can make you anxious. Just, you know, just the overwhelming clouds sometimes that creeps up on us that we can't describe, that we don't know how to flip the switch to make it go away. And being stressed can bring something like that on. Have be, being anger irritable. Uh, sometimes our bodies and the way our minds work that we get stressed out, we become angry, we become agitated, we become irritable. And sometimes we're not so pleasant to be around. I have another word for that for myself, that's hangry. You know, that's a different topic, different day. <clears throat> uh, sometimes you feel overwhelmed. When you get stressed out, uh, you can feel overwhelmed. You said that cloud that kind of creeps up on us and you just start feeling just overburdened and overloaded down and overwhelmed. And it's hard to, to break from that sometimes. Trouble sleeping. Uh, you've been stressed all day long and sometimes that carries right on into the night. Your mind racing and your mind just can't seem to shut it off and the worry and the fear and the anxiety just kind of creeping up over on top of us. Uh, racing thoughts. Uh, constant worry, you just your thoughts, your mind, making bad decisions. Uh, sometimes when you're stressed, you don't always make the best decisions. Things can be rushed. Uh, just trying to make a decision just to move forward. And sometimes you don't make the best decisions. You don't have uh, maybe the right mindset to be making decisions in that type of state of mind. So well, what kind of items or what kind of things can you do? Uh, well, we talked about prayer. I think prayer is important. Not everybody thinks that. Um, and that's okay. Um, I'm not here to try to push you into prayer or to make you believe in prayer. Um, I do, however, have a thought that I've, I've been around a lot of people in my life and I've had a lot of people that have had to go get special counseling and uh, you know, from different things in life, addictions and things in life. And I've never heard anybody say, uh, you know, the reason why my life is a mess, uh, the reason why my marriage failed, uh, the reason why I lost my business, the reason why this and that is because people prayed for me. I've never heard that. I've never heard of someone sitting and say, Doc, I just wanted to you know, share my, my thoughts and you know, lay me on the, the chair here, my psychiatric help. And it's because you know, all the problems of my life have stemmed because people prayed for me. Never heard that. So there's something to be said with prayer. I think it can be uplifting. I think it can uh, help your spirit and it can help raise uh, uh, some of that, 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 that burden that's on you can get that lifted off. So that's the first thing I'd like to talk about. Second thing is exercise, being active, being physically active, being uh, on some kind of maybe a walking program or jogging throughout the week or weightlifting or some kind of aerobics or a class that you like to go to two or three times a week, something to be physically active. Now, some of you say, well, I'm physically active out. I work out, you know, at the plantation out here. I've got all kinds of stuff going on and that's awesome. That means you're physically active. So you, your body is moving, you got the blood flowing and that's good. You know, maybe if you're out in the sun, sometimes getting some of that fresh air, fresh sunshine, but some, some people don't. Uh, work in that environment. Some people it's in an office and you're in there all day long and you see light of day and you're like, wow, this is awesome. <clears throat> so get some fresh air, get some exercise, uh, try to help relieve some of that stress. Deep breathing. Sometimes, you know, just the <sighs> 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 
filling up your lungs and just calming your breathing and controlling your breathing and focusing on your, on your breathing, that can give you an immediate relief with stress and anxiety and giving you a chance in your mind to relax and just kind of calm down for just a minute. Uh, slow down, take a break. If you're in the middle of something, it's okay to take a break. It's all right to slow down, take a time out, and, and just, just take, take, take a little bit of me time. Take something aside to where you can chill for a minute, shut the mind down for a minute, and slow the pace down. Sometimes we get going and we're 100 miles an hour, and I'm like that. You get busy, you know, you can do that in prepping, you can do that in life, you can do that at work and at home and you're just busy 100 miles an hour, you know what, slow the pace sometimes. And that'll help with your decisions. If you're making quick, fast, on the fly decisions because you're in a hurry and you've got so much to do, there's so much on your plate, sometimes take a time out, okay? Take that time out and go slow. Give it a minute before you make a decision. Sometimes give it a minute before you jump on the next task, the next project. Get you a sip of water to get you some ice water, get you some lemonade, right? Just kind of chill, take a break. Sometimes it's good to connect with supportive people, which can go hand in hand with eliminate people that aren't supportive to you, that, that bring you down, that bring a negative energy to you. Sometimes you might have to cut ties. You might have to say, you know what? It's time to move on, it's time to move forward. That's enough negativity. I've lived a life of stress, I've lived a life in anxiety. Sometimes it's time to cut cords with, with that person or that thing that is dragging you down. Surround yourself with the, the, the correct type of people and the correct type of attitudes. It can be very uplifting. You can have people that, are, that love you and that are around you, family, friends, people that will encourage you and support you and give you good advice and give you a sound foundation to where if, if you need to lean on somebody, if you're in the middle of something, you have something that you can lean on and that won't crumble and having that good support group. Eliminate the triggers. We talked about eliminating people in your life that are negative, and uh, but if you have certain things that are going on that seems like every time you have to deal with this project or something comes around that it's gonna automatically, you know, this is gonna stress me out. We'll eliminate that. Figure out, well, how can we make that, that item better? I'm just throwing out examples here. Maybe it's cutting the grass. Cutting grass makes you so anxious, full of stress, so every time you cut grass, you're gonna get like that. Well, what can you do to maybe eliminate that? Have somebody else do it, right? <laughs> hey wife, honey, go cut the grass. That's one way though, is to get somebody else to do it, or you can hire that out. Now, you know, yeah, it comes down to budget and money, but sometimes you, finding a way to remove yourself from a situation that's on reoccurring that you know is going to stress you out. Uh, sometimes it's good, it's worth, eliminating that trigger. It's, it's worth eliminating uh, that, that item, that routine. Uh, what about replacing that with a hobby? Gardening? We talk about gardening here on House of Prep. Uh, maybe it's gardening. Maybe uh, you enjoy being outside and getting your hands dirty, getting down in the earth. Uh, maybe it's planting the seeds and watching them sprout from what appears to be nothing and, and you've assisted on that and you caring for that plant and raising that plant, and repotting it and getting it out to where now it's producing, you know, fruits and vegetables and, and maybe you enjoy that and, and getting uh, fruit trees and flowers and, and being out in nature. Maybe that's your hobby. Maybe it's hiking, right? Maybe it's going out and chasing waterfalls, right? And going down creeks and rivers and looking for waterfalls and, and, and finding out all that nature has to offer in our, in our beautiful, sceneries that we have that are available to us. Maybe it's finding that hobby. Maybe it's a book. You have a good book. Yeah, I've been there. You have a good book and you can escape in that book and you can relax and you can get your mind off of whatever it is that's been stressing you and get it focused on something different and giving yourself a break, giving your mind a break. Read that book. Some people are more like, you know, I just rather just watch a good movie and that's okay. Maybe get some popcorn, right? Get that, we call them the comfort foods. Uh, get you some popcorn, maybe you know your favorite soda or, or sweet tea or, or whatever your favorite beverage is, and sit back and watch a good movie. And try not to pick one of those drama ones that'll stress you out, right? Where the plot twists and turns and 
you know, people are hanging by a thread. Sometimes you'll become, you'll walk away from that movie more stressed than you were before you started. So, but these are just simple tips. These are just helps because I know people live real lives. And while we're out prepping, hey, you know, sometimes we're prepping and we like to be, you know, in the know of things and stuff, but sometimes too much media uh, will burn you out and it'll stress you out too much watching the news. Sometimes too much social media. Hey, and it's understandable if you got to take a break. Um, I've had people uh, that are that are, are part of our family here at House of Prep, and they've said, "Hey, I'm just letting you know. I'm just taking a, a little 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 quick break. I'm not unsubscribing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be around. <clears throat> I just need a break. You know, I got to take a break from the whole mindset of everything right now." And I'm like, "Hey, <clears throat> hats off to you." And thank you for those that have communicated that. And you just needed a break. You just needed a time. Because look, you know yourself. You know you. And you know we talk about triggers. We know what could set that cloud on you. We know what can do these things. So it's all right. Some people, we beat ourselves up. And we cause our own stress. You ever done that? You're your you're self-coach, right? Your self-critic, right? We're our, worst, we're our own worst critics sometimes. And we could be prepping and we're, we're, we're doing everything we can. And then we see something else on the news or something else triggers something. And all of a sudden we're thinking, man, I'm, I'm not good enough. I haven't done good enough. And now we're stressed trying to figure out how do I fix it. And it's all right. Look, if you're prepping and you're heading down that journey, that path, it, you're, doing, you're doing well. Keep going down that path. You're still educating yourself. You're still gathering information. That's great. Don't let that push you to analyze yourself that you're unworthy and that you're not prepared. So if you were to sit down and someone were to analyze where you're at, okay, it's possible, yeah, you're not prepared, and that's okay, but if you're heading in the right direction in, in daily or weekly and you're making the weekly gains and you're able to take a look at where you're at today, then a place where you were a month ago or two months ago, and you can say, I'm better prepared now, okay, you're on the right path. And just keep doing what you're doing. It's okay. Don't get frustrated. Don't step back and look at somebody else at where they're at and, and measure that against you to, wow, I fall short. Don't, don't think of it like that. They may be doing that their whole life. They may have been born that way. And that's just how they've always been. And it, it's okay. That's, that's good. They're, they're prepared. They're ready. They got born that way. But some of us, you started different segments of life. And that's okay. It's all right to start off it can be called late in the game it's not late for you 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 found something out that you realize you need to do and you're making actions to go towards that and we applaud you for that so jump in the comments everyone this is a chance if you have ideas and comments and things that you want to do uh, that you do to help with your stress your anxiety and sometimes dealing with preps and uh, and roadblocks and obstacles that you come across sometimes in life uh, share that information uh, it's great for all of us to work together and share information. And if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up. And please, if you'd like to see other uh, uplifting, positive videos, and also prep videos and food videos, and we do updates, uh, Thursday is a fun day right around the house of prep. Uh, that's coming up in a couple days here. Thursday is every Thursday we do updates of all of our local areas. We have people from Australia. Uh, from the Philippines, from the UK, from Canada, here in America. We have everybody that jumps in. To, we talk about prices of food. We talk about how the shelves are. You know, are there items still kind of missing that we like to use? Uh, gas prices. We talk about all these things. So I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and then join us every Thursday as we do that as well. So you all have a great rest of the day for those of you that are working and stuff. Get your jobs done. Uh, those of you that you, you're busy homesteading, you're, you're working hard. Uh, at the land and getting your preps up. Keep doing what you're doing, and I will catch you guys later this week. All right now.